Inside Mark Light Field on the campus of the University of Miami, the Red Hot FIU Panthers continue preparation for Friday night's NCAA Regional against the Miami Hurricanes. Hello, Panther Nation. Welcome to FIUsports.com. Brian Duvall along with the voice of the Panthers, Pete Pellegrin. Thanks for taking a moment to catch up with the FIU Panther baseball team. And, and speaking of which, Pete, it's good for the team to get back in the habit of playing some baseball and getting ready for Friday night. Yeah, they celebrated the conference championship already, and now this is like a game week, getting ready for a weekend series, but a weekend series where it's the NCAA postseason, and these guys practice Tuesday, Wednesday, and then now they're out here on Thursday for their final practice before the regional starts Friday. Something that can play in FIU's favor, no real travel, eight miles down the road uh, into their eighth appearance here in the Coral Gables Regional out of their 12th NCAA appearance that they'll make on Friday. Uh, is that an advantage for FIU? Yeah, and ironically, they're treating it like a road trip because they're not staying at home. They're staying at a hotel in Coconut Grove, which is even closer than eight miles from FIU to here. But yeah, I mean, they're treating it like, uh, you know, like any other road trip. It's, uh, yeah, they're happy to be home and, you know, and having family and friends and fans out here on Friday and throughout the whole weekend. But uh, yeah, it's definitely an advantage that they don't have to get on a plane and worry about where they're going to go and where they're going to eat and all that stuff. Pete, with none of the players that have previously played in a regional before, how does Coach Thomas get the guys to could it kind of quell the anxiety a little bit and just focus on playing baseball and not playing the University of Miami or anything like that? Well, here's the thing. They went into the conference tournament not expected to do anything. In fact, one of the players had mentioned how the Southern Miss fans over in Hattiesburg were rooting for them because they were the eighth seed, the underdog, and nobody was expecting for them to do anything in that tournament. And four wins later, they're conference champions. I think it's the same thing here. I mean, yeah, they came out of nowhere, you know, finished regular season 25 and 29 come out of nowhere, win that conference championship, and now they're coming here as the fourth seed. You know, the fourth seed is the lowest seed in the regional, so they're taking that same on underdog approach, and I think it's something that will help them. It worked for Fresno State in 2008, folks. If you don't remember, just Google that. Uh, Pete, what do you see as your keys to victory? What does FIU have to do not only to come away Friday night with a win, but to win the regional? Well, let's start with Friday, because, yeah. I mean, that's the most important <laughs> game. You can't be looking ahead. Yeah. Uh, you got to get an early run or two. I mean, this team already has confidence, but this is a bigger stage, brighter lights. It's the NCAA postseason. It's a regional against, you know, the crosstown rival, whatever you want to call them. And again, getting one or two runs early will establish a little bit of confidence for this team. The other thing is whoever the starting pitcher is on Friday, and that will be revealed later today, uh, they need a good start out of him. They need him to go deep into the game, whether it be six, seven innings, and then if you got a lead or, or you're tied or whatever, turn it over to the bullpen of Williams DeRuthi and Danny Dopico that has been solid all season long. And fans, don't forget you can catch Pete's call on the FIU Sports Network pregame at 6.55 and first pitch at 7 Friday night as the FIU Panthers take on the Miami Hurricanes right here in the Coral Gables Regional. For Pete Pellegrin, I'm Brian Duvall. We'll talk to you next time right here on FIUsports.com.